Hey guys, what's going on? James here and today we're going to do some live product research. So what I'm going to do is just go through and give you guys kind of a look at what I do when I'm doing product research. Obviously, I've put out videos in the past showing you guys, you know, different strategies, a lot of different strategies, but I just wanted to come on here and kind of chat to you guys. I didn't upload a video yesterday, so come on, hop into the chat, probably gonna be on here for about an hour. And I'm gonna create a few products, probably try and find three to four good opportunities that I would pursue and you guys can go out there and pursue as well. If there's stuff that we really think is good, our team will probably pursue it and test the products as well. I was actually gonna do this last night um, and unfortunately, or fortunately for us, we found like a really good product. I was literally just testing it, kind of you know, going about my processes and then I was gonna go live and I seen this product and I was like, I need to get this launched, I need to get it out. So I went and scrapped the live stream last night, uploaded the product and today we've done a few hundred dollars with that product. Um, so we'll kind of see where it goes from there, but hopefully we can find today some similar products that you guys can go out there test and make some money with. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys can hear everything okay, you can see everything okay. Uh, the sound is a little low, someone says, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pop that up a little bit. Let me know if that's okay. It's hard for me to kind of hear on my end, but we'll see. So hopefully that's a little bit louder. It definitely should be. I can hear it fine on, on my end when I play it. So let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Um, let's see who we've got on here and what you guys are doing on Saturday. Hopefully we can help you find some, some products. What I've got here is a little product testing sheet. So generally when we're when I do something like this or my team does something like this, I'll go through, I'll find some products and I'll add them into this sheet. Then my team will go and do their thing. They'll create the video, they'll upload the product, they'll write the descriptions on our store, uh, they'll do the pricing and then eventually we'll launch the products, test them, see whether they work or not. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do that because I'm actually gonna test these products. I'm actually gonna do these products. And if you're watching on the replay, you can go ahead, probably skip ahead a few minutes, but we are gonna get started here now. Um, and awesome to see you guys on live. So sounds all fine. Uh, I can see that we got Matthew from Brisbane. Uh, I was actually searching for a product in the beauty niche. Yeah, so I mean the product we, we found last night was actually in the beauty niche um, and it's doing pretty well. It's a pretty cool product. Definitely something super interesting and it's doing well this morning. So we launched and it went live at 12 last night. Uh, and hopefully by the end of today, what we'll start doing is creating some lookalikes, testing more interests and scaling the interests that were working yesterday. And then we can go and start winning. So first thing I'm gonna do is essentially go through, and this is something that I like to do generally every day, um, is go through my feed and try and find some stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh my feed here and I'm also gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put on this little plugin that I've got called Turbo Ad Finder. Turbo Ad Finder, it's something that I, I'm not sure why, but people can't get it anymore, that it's, it kind of sucks. But essentially what it does is allows us to go ahead and only see ads in our feed. So right here is a product that honestly, I would say that you guys should probably test. It's something we've been looking at testing. I keep seeing this product, um, but this is a good one to start with for sure. So what I'm gonna do is actually show you guys what I do to kind of take a look at the product and see does it have any potential. On the, you know, on the outside of this, I can see here that it's getting a fair amount of engagement, it's getting shares, it's getting uh, views. So it's got a couple of hundred thousand views on there, which means that, look, they've been running this for a bit. Um, but another real good benefit to this, just looking at it from the surface, is that they're using a bit.ly link in their ad. So when they're using a bit.ly link in their ad, we can go ahead, we can grab that bit.ly link, come over here, paste it in, put a plus on the end of the bit.ly link, and then we'll be able to see exactly what these guys are doing, how much traffic they're doing, how much traffic they're sending to this product. So we can see here that this is, it's kind of rocky, but what I would say and what I would point out just initially right off the bat here is their clicks, right? They're obviously not that high. You can take an average, and I would take this down in your notes maybe, is for every click you see here, and this is a, an average, I'll explain a little bit more how to tell, but on average for every one click you get on your store, you should be getting or you should see in around $1 back. And that can vary, right? Depending on the traffic you're running. That's a good call 
for United States traffic, United Kingdom traffic, just top tier traffic in general, uh, and the top five big English speaking countries. In general, you're gonna get over a dollar per click in your store. So from looking at this from 1,200 clicks, we can assume that over the past two weeks or three weeks here, that these guys have made about $1,200 in this product. That's not that great at all. And another thing that we want to take a look at is the countries they're actually sending the traffic from. So in here in Bitly, we can actually see that a lot of their traffic is from lower tier countries that you know you can get cheaper traffic in and it doesn't convert as well. So I would say that this product right here, I wouldn't write it off as a product that you know you shouldn't test or you shouldn't go after. But from looking at here, these guys in specific aren't doing anything crazy. However, what you need to think about is who is running this product. Here, they're still running it. They're still spending money every single day. And what could be the issue, and especially with a product like this, is the issue could be that they don't have the money to scale. Because this product, if we actually take a click, uh, click on it here, and we take a look at it, it's about $90, right? And these guys are doing a general store drop shipping model. It's about $90, and if we try and find that on AliExpress, uh, what would we call that? We'd call that a rotating rack, maybe. Um, so let's do a search for it. And if you guys have any questions, go ahead, drop them into the chat and I'll be able to, to answer them as well for you guys. Uh, trying to focus, but sleepy as fuck. Are you recording and uploading this video? Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to upload this video um, after, once we're finished. Hi from the Philippines. Doesn't the bit.ly link exclude the shop now called the action button? So the bit.ly link depends on whether or not they use that for the shop now called the action button. If they drop the bit.ly link in there, it's still going to, to be tracking that but it's still giving us a really good um, a really good look and a really good overview. And it's kind of the best data we can get to, to see, right? So it might not be 100% accurate. There could be other traffic sources. There could be, um, you know, they're running different ads that aren't using that specific Bitly link. Um, but, the, you know, it's giving us a good idea and it's giving us, you know, whether or not, you know, it's going on an uptrend or a downtrend. So if we can see that it's going on an uptrend in general, we can tell that, okay, if even if the shop now button doesn't work, it's going on an uptrend. So the shop now button's obviously getting more clicks as well. So uh, let's see if we can find this. I'm going to, so it's roughly about here. So this looks similar to the product that they're selling. So we can see right here that it's about $35. You may be able to get it a little bit cheaper, but that looks like it's the same one as over here. So there's actually a pretty good margin on this, right? $35, they're selling it for, I think it was $90, right? So they've got about a $55 margin there. So they can spend on every, you know, on every ad, they can spend up to $55 on a purchase and still be profitable. And that's excluding other stuff like, you know, their average order value is generally gonna be slightly higher. They're gonna have upsells and, you know, long-term value of the customer buying more and more products in your store. So taking a look at this, it is getting some clicks, it's getting traction. And another thing we like to do is actually just take a look in the comments right here. And you can see that, so they're sending people through here in the comments as well. And from looking at it, it looks like there's definitely people interested in the product. And what I would say, and what I was kind of touching on before I answered the other question is, these guys maybe just don't have the money to scale. Maybe they're new to drop shipping. And what you'll generally find is they don't have that much money. If this person only has like a two, $300 bankroll, it's gonna to be tough to scale this product because you're gonna to have to be quite aggressive and you have to spend quite a bit of money to get sales on your account. So you could be running like $100 a day on ads and maybe only be getting one seal and you're scared to lift that up. And when you've got a $90 product, you have to be spending kind of a, a substantial amount of money to get enough seals to optimize. So these guys maybe don't have a big enough bankroll or maybe a little bit scared to scale here. So we could definitely attack this. If you've got a bigger bankroll, attack this product, be more aggressive with it. And if it's making you profit, you could scale. So there's one opportunity. Um, I'm gonna actually add it into my little sheet here just to, as uh, something to look at it. We definitely, um, this definitely doesn't mean that we're going to launch it. Um, but it's something to, to look at and something that's there if we you know ever need any other um, product ideas, right? So I'm gonna put that in there. I'm going to drop the Bitly link in here. So once we drop the Bitly link in here, we can always keep track of the product, right? We can keep track of where that product is. Is it scaling upwards or is it downwards? Uh, and then I'm gonna just drop this Alley link in there um, just so I can find the product easily on Alley. And then put $90 as the selling price. And it's a rotating 
corner unit. And then also I like to save the video link because we know and when we're finding, so it seems like it's actually disappeared here, unfortunately. But what I would normally do is just right click show video URL and then go ahead and you know save that video URL in there because we know that that product is working well and that video is working well. So we wanna make a video that is similar to that, right? Maybe using similar captions and the similar attention grabbing uh, assets that it has in it. Uh, so I'll answer some of your questions before we move on to the next product, but it looks like the Facebook gods have delivered us another good one with potential here. I've seen this quite a bit uh, and we'll take a look at this one in a second, but let me answer your questions. Uh, do we need click funnels for this to work? No, you don't need click funnels. We use Shopify stores and then if our product is working very well, occasionally we will move it over to a click funnel. Um, do you always search ads to find your winners or do you try to find other stores? Well, it's fr from my perspective, it's better to look at ads versus looking at stores. You can look at stores and you know, it's hard to tell what product is winning on it. You know, you can obviously track them and see what products they're uploading. And that is a good way to find new products or maybe products that haven't been tested yet. But with ads, it's we've such so much more data. And when you've got data, you're going to win, right? For people who are new to drop shipping, this is 100% hands down the easiest way to make profits fast, right? Is by going on here, finding products that are already working and then going ahead and launching them. They're not all going to be profitable for you. They're not all going to be crazy good. But I will tell you this, you will make sales. We teach our students this and you know, if you go out there and you're trying to like find cool products or products that only you have found, you're trying to find these you know, top tier winning products that maybe no one else has ever launched, that's going to be hard to go out there and find them. That takes more money, it takes more research. It's more high risk, high reward. When you find one of those products that is really, really good, you can win and you can absolutely crush it and you can scale it to millions. However, if you're just getting started, you've got low budgets, going after stuff that's already proven to work is the easiest way to make money, build up a bankroll and then you can be more aggressive and go after these other products, right? So let's see, when private labeling, do you send your product to a warehouse in the US and the UK? It depends on the product, right? We will look at our data, see whereabouts you're selling it to, where is going to be beneficial to send that product to, right? If you're only doing like 5% of your sales in the UK, we'll probably just ship them on still out of China. A lot of our products that are private labeled still come from China. We have good shipping lines, we work with good people. Um, if you're in my, my course, Ecom Domination, once you hit 100 orders per day, I can put you in touch with my people um, who are very good. They get much quicker delivery times, like seven to eight days. Um, you get your products there in time. It's much higher quality. They can do all the private labeling. They can do custom packaging for you. Um, and we can still ship out of China with reasonably good delivery times, right? Not US delivery times, but we can. Generally, you're gonna see the biggest bulk of your sales if you're like, most of the dropshippers coming from the United States, Canada, and then obviously you'd want to ship product into into them countries or just ship it into the US and you can ship to both US and Canada um, and, and do it that way. If you're selling like 50-50 UK, US, or even if it's big enough volume, if you're doing like 20% in the UK, but that's still 30, 40K a month, it's probably beneficial to ship it to both places and use two fulfillment centers. And there is, you know, three PLs um, who will go out there and they'll have you know, warehouses all over the country, uh, or sorry, all over the world in different locations and you can utilize them. Uh, let's see, you use funnels after a product is doing well. Uh, not, not what I hear nowadays, usually hearing the other way around. So yeah, I mean, this year, like one product drop shipping has blew up, it's the, the big thing. Um, and honestly, I don't believe it's the best way to do things, obviously, there is so many benefits to having a one product store. However, like you don't, you're not really gonna materialize them benefits until you have like a winning product. I don't see the point in going out there and testing one product stores for every product that you test. It just takes a lot of time, it's not efficient, and it's gonna get you, uh, you know, a marginal increase in your conversion rate. You're gonna be able to make more sales. You're gonna be able to, you know, have a better experience for the customer but it's going to take you so much more time to set that up for every product that you don't know is going to work. Just have a general store there so that when you find a product, like let's say this push-up thing, you wanna test that, 
I can have this product tested within the next hour. I can have it up with ads live if I want to. But if I want to put it on a one product store, it's going to take me at least until tomorrow, maybe the day after to have ads launched and run into that store. I mean, it's not that long a time, but I'd rather do it in an hour and be able to move quickly. And then once it works on a general store, right, it might not be the most profitable. I might be leaving a little bit of money on the table, but I'm only leaving it there for a short period of time until I've got proof of concept and then move on to that one product store or that funnel, right? So what I'm gonna do is Keep asking your questions, my man, and you know, go ahead and shoot them in there. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a look. We're gonna analyze this product. This product's been around for a while. Uh, I'm not sure if it is private labeled by these guys, but I think we can find it in AliExpress. So let's go ahead and actually take a little bit of a look here. Uh, James, I've been following you for a while. Love your content. I don't understand how your channel is not blown up like other gurus. Uh, I don't know, I think it's because I'm more real with people. I mean, we did a survey. So we surveyed all of our customers inside Econ Domination. And the reason people buy from me is because I tell it how it is, right? I'm not out there saying, you're going to make millions this week, you're going to have 50% profit margins. And it's so easy. I don't really tell it like that. You got to do work, your average profit margins are probably going to be like 20%, maybe a little bit less if you're scaling. And you know, I tell it how it is, I'm more real. And I don't, I do this for, for fun. However, there is some other people in the YouTube scene that I'm big fans of, um, like Sebastian Gomez, good friend. He's, he's Christian, I, I love his stuff. Uh, Gabriel Saint Germain, absolute killer. I mean, he 100% deserves uh, to have blown up in the space. He's one of definitely one of the best people out there. I've learned a lot from him as well. Um, really cool people. And there's, there's other ones as well, but some of them blow up and it's like, how are people believing this stuff? But I mean, it is what it is. That's not what we're here to do. Let's, let's analyze these products. So let's take a look and let's look at the Bitly stats on this. So this looks like a reasonably good opportunity right here. So what we're looking at is um, an uptrend on, on this product. So it started quite long ago. These people don't seem to scale as hard as, as I would, right? If I was seeing that I'm getting sales here, I'll blow this up a lot quicker. But again, some people don't have the budget uh, to do that. Not everyone does. But if we take a look here, it's scaling upwards. Uh, there was this peak down here and then it dropped a little bit that maybe tried to push it uh, and it didn't work so well. The only thing I'd be wary of when looking at this is it's not so much uh, top tier traffic. Only 14% is United States. Uh, and then the rest is kind of worldwide. And that's kind of fine. Uh, you'll see people just running worldwide from the beginning. And this happens, but it's still on an uptrend. So it's definitely something we want to take a look at. So the next thing we want to do is look at the kind of profit margins we're able to get out of this product. So let's actually take a look at their store. And these guys seem to be using a one, uh, one product store. They're selling this for, uh, I think it's about $40 or so, $44.99 possibly. And they've got a good, good sales page here, right? This is what a, a really good description looks like. And using like images in your description is really good um a really good way to go ahead and, and do this and one thing i would encourage you guys to you know kind of take a look at here is a lot of these products that we're going to look at today is a lot of them are going to be general stores i'd say the biggest products and the biggest skills you'll see will be general stores um but let's take a look at this on aliexpress so i'm gonna call this like a muscle board and this is kind of the hardest part is maybe just finding the product sometimes so muscle board So this is it right here. I did look at this product in the past. The only thing for me with, with it was, um, it was a little bit expensive, but it was, it was brand new when I first looked at it. So I'm gonna call it a push up, push up rack. Uh, let's see. So right here we can see that this one here, probably about $20. So they're not hitting my my margins that I'd like to hit. So $22, they're selling it for $44.99. For me, that's not really big enough, right? It's not where I want to see if I want to be able to scale it really big. I would be looking to sell, so general rule is roughly about three times your cost of goods. 
is what you want to be selling at. So right here we can see $22. I'd want to sell this product for about $60. However, I don't know if the product has the perceived value to be sold at $60, right? I don't know if it's given a benefit enough that it's going to be able to be sold at $60. So for this product, I probably wouldn't push it, um, especially just because these guys, they're not scaling so hard. And, and when we're looking at all the data here, um, we're, these guys aren't pushing so hard. They're not doing crazy, crazy numbers right here. 6,000 clicks in, in a month is, is nothing at all. Um, and there's not enough margin in it for me. So this opportunity, I'm probably going to leave and we'll move on and take a look at the next one. So these here, I've seen these guys. These guys have been running this product for a long, long time. Um, it's something that we actually tested. I couldn't make it work. But these guys have been running this now for well over a, a, probably a couple of months because Inside uh, Ecom Domination, inside my course, we do live streams similar to this kind of on a weekly basis. And we'll go in and sometimes I'll just find my students winning products. And we, we looked at this one quite a while ago. Um, and these guys are still running it. So working very well for them. If you want to go ahead and test this uh, using different creatives, if you think that you could have like a uh, more like eye catching or scroll stopping creative on this, that would be, you know, a, a really could be a good product to look at. Beauty products like this, the biggest benefit of them, and I wanna show you guys their their page because their page is it's nicely formatted. They're actually using, uh, what is it, Zipify pages. So they're using Zipify pages here, and this is like a long form sales page, and this is on a general store, right? So dailytravelvibe.com, it's, it's not the best general store name, obviously because it, it kind of, would more more likely be in the travel niche. So when you're creating a general store, I still like like the broad names. I know people say like people are catching on to it. They still work, um, and I like to just have a broad. Or if you can have a name like that is super broad and doesn't really relate to anything, like stuff like Google and stuff like that, don't really mean anything until they're created. So if you can do something like that with your general store, that's probably the best way to go instead of tying it to like daily travel vibe. But you can see here what these guys are doing is you can't actually click on any of these buttons. So they're keeping you on this one page. It's a general store, but they're keeping you on this one page. So we can see, we can scroll down. They've got a really good long form sales page here, uh, how to use the product. And then they've got this. So this is a really good way to increase your average order value. So right here we have, uh, so this is like 10 packs, uh, 707 each, but I think that's 89.99. Um, this one is one. So let me see. I'm gonna actually buy this now. This is a little bit confusing because I'm kind of confused here as to how much I'm actually paying, right? Uh, so I'm gonna click this. I don't know if. Okay, yeah. So ten packs. They're so they're essentially what they're doing here is trying to get you uh, to pick the highest um, order value, right? So this is probably how these guys were able to scale this, and we probably couldn't as much because we didn't bother to set up a long form sales page like this. So right here, they've got this, right? So this is buying two and this is actually the cheapest pack. So this one's going to be 35.98 and that's the cheapest they're selling this for. And if we actually take a look at this on AliExpress, these are like a couple of dollars, right? Slimming mask. So right here, it's literally a few dollars. So, And it actually ships from the United States as well. So let's see, this is shipping from China, United States, three pieces, uh, two pieces, one piece. And let's see how many they're actually shipping in the packs. So 10 packs, two. So they're selling two for $35.98. And if we go to Ali, the two piece pack is costing about $3. So they're literally have crazy margins on this, like $33 at the minimum, right? So when someone lands on this, they're making $33 minimum, and then they've got the five pack and the, the 10 pack, which has got them margins that are just huge, right? So they can spend like $60 to get a customer, still be profitable. Whereas if you're testing this, you're trying to sell it for $10, and you, you can't compete with them. So that's, this is a really good example of a good sales page, uh, well led out. And one thing I would say it's a little bit confusing because people probably think they're paying seven pound for this, right? Or 14 pound for this, whereas they're actually paying 89.99. And I'm sure that causes some kind of upset when it comes to the checkout and stuff like that. But, you know, definitely a good 
um, sales page. So I'm gonna actually save this just to save the sales page. I'm probably not gonna test this product again, but I like the way it's laid out. I like the way that are selling this and putting it forward. And you can see here, one of the most important things is having called actions throughout your, your product pages, right? So especially if you're doing a long form product page like this, every button you click brings you to the bottom of the page and they've got them everywhere, right? So last chance, every button here goes down to the bottom of that page where you can make the order. So you always wanna be calling the customer in action and getting them to take out their credit card. And then it just sends them through. So obviously, just to kind of give you guys a full flow look at, um, sends them through just to straight to checkout page. And that's pretty much it. So it's like, a, it's like a single product funnel. It's essentially a single product store on a general store, right? So this is the best way to do it. And if you guys looked at my videos from the start of 2019, this is kind of what I advocated doing is going out there and setting up, you know, funnels with Zipify pages. It's like $50 a month. It's going to be much cheaper than setting up a new store for every product that you have. Um, but really cool way they've got this set up and I would definitely model that sales page. So I'm just going to add this into our sheet here uh, just so I can put a note on it and say really good sales page for increasing average order value. So let's go ahead and answer some of your guys' questions here again. Uh, let's see what you guys are saying. Uh, big five or worldwide for testing what's working now. Uh, generally, we start with the, the big five, so top tier countries, and then we'll branch out. Uh, where to find winning products. So essentially just what we're doing here, maybe you're just, just joined us, Sharon, but going through your Facebook feed is a really good way. So if you guys aren't seeing as many ads as I'm seeing, obviously right now, I'm seeing an ad every time I refresh the page right here. What you might want to do is if you're not, every time you see a drop shipping ad, like if you're just on Facebook for fun, you're just scrolling through your phone, what you want to do is go ahead and click the shop now button and just go right through their, their process, right? So just do exactly what we did there. Go through, go through right through to checkout um, and you can do the little purchase pixel hack. I'm not gonna show you how to do it in this video, but if you go and watch like my product research videos, I show you how to do that pixel hack. Um, and essentially that little pixel hack will allow, it'll kind of trick Facebook into thinking you're a purchaser. They'll show you more and more drop shipping ads. So just go through every one you see, click on it, go right through to their funnel, add their products to cart um, and do stuff like that, right? So that's kind of what we do on just scrolling through our Facebook and making sure that we can kind of see everything, right? See the whole picture, uh, kind of looking for new ads popping up on the daily. And then next up, I'm gonna show you a research tool that we use to, to find products as well. So I'm gonna use it next, but I'm gonna answer a couple of your questions here uh, for a little bit. So if you have any questions, drop them in now. Uh, I saw this product long ago, but couldn't test it because the watermark didn't find good videos so I can make mine. So one thing I will tell you guys is if you just rip people's videos like this and re-upload them, you will have a harder, you'll have a much harder time making seals. Not only that, but you'll also have problems, right? Where maybe they'll send you a DMCA and you'll get your account shut down, which you don't want. But also what'll happen is when you upload the same video, Facebook knows if you upload the same video as someone else, they're going to limit your reach. You're gonna have to pay more to reach your audience. Your CPMs are gonna be higher. Whereas if you make fresh new content that is created by you, you're gonna get much cheaper CPMs and it's gonna work much better for you, right? So that's a, a tip, you know, ripping people's videos, just straight ripping them is gonna be a hard way to make uh, money. What would be your sh uh, first strategy for Facebook ads? Testing straight to purchase or PPE first? So straight to purchase is pretty much always the way that we go, especially for just drop shipping testing. If you're running a brand, uh, you start a private label brand, we, our strategy is a little bit different, um, but for you know, for products like this where we're just testing them, we're literally just going out there three to five interests. Generally, I'm running now about $25 per ad set, but you don't have to do that much. We're just more aggressive. Uh, and what we'll do is just go run it straight to purchase. We're telling Facebook exactly what we want. Facebook knows who the purchasers are. And if you tell them you want purchasers, you're more likely to get purchasers, right? It, it just makes sense. Um, PPE is good for testing new creatives and stuff like that. So with PPE, you can test new creatives and I'm not looking for seals. What we're looking for is like, how high is the click through rate on this ad? And, and you know, are we getting cheap clicks and stuff like that? And then we can use that data to predict that this ad will work better in a purchase campaign where it's a little bit more expensive, but we're actually optimizing for seals. Uh, 
wondering how all these people do a before and after images without getting banned from Facebook. So on your website, it's easier to get away with it. Obviously, Facebook does scroll the pages and it is against policy and you might get shut down. But generally, we, we've ran them a lot on on our landing pages and it's not really been an issue in videos and stuff like that it's just a big no-no and you really can't get away with it at all uh but on pages like that and stuff you can get away with it pretty easy i personally wouldn't put like before and after in videos because i believe they can probably detect that so i would just have the images on there uh what advertising platforms are you using in 2019 more than in the past and for cold traffic, again, our biggest one is just Facebook. I still think it's it's the best. There are other opportunities out there, um, like Snapchat. I know people making money on Snapchat. For us, a lot of the time, it's just it's just junk traffic, and we can't really make it work. Um, it could just be the products we're running, but I know people are making money on it. Um, YouTube is one that we're running right now, which is is working well. Obviously, Instagram, which is kind of just lumped in with Facebook. Uh, and then Google, it's not something I do too much of on like the cold traffic side, but for retargeting, it's, it's very good. Uh, hi James, I'm running ads now, but it's so expensive. Click cost is $2 and click through rate is 1.5%. CPM is $12. Can you please tell me how to minimize the ad cost? So what I'm, what, what I'm looking at here is like, you've got a, a CPM of $12, which is super cheap, especially if you're in you know, if you're in top tier countries, that's pretty damn good. Uh, click cost of $2 and click through it of 1.5%. I would say that chances are your, your ad's not good enough, right? You probably need a better ad. You need something more eye catching, more um, attention grabbing and getting people to click through. That's where I would, would focus your attention. Um, but again, we have ads and I've had ads for coming on to three years, probably just over two years. Um, we've been running and They've always been in around like $2 to $2.50 click cost, but our average order value is from, it's roughly about $70 and we're profitable on that. We always have been. So, you know, I think like cost per click and stuff like that, they're essentially vanity met metrics. They don't really mean anything unless you have context of the whole funnel. Uh, you can still be profitable with $2 clicks. I mean, for advertising my courses and stuff like that on our webinars, our clicks are, you know, they're almost $3 a click. Uh, in that niche, but we're still profitable on, on the ads and that side of things. So if you're running like a $10 product, it's gonna be hard to be profitable on $2 clicks. Um, but again, I would just try and improve your advert right there. Uh, how to take some video content and mix with own video stuff. Will Facebook consider this as new videos? I believe they, sh they probably should. Uh, are you testing Google AdWords? Any plans for Google platform? Uh, Facebook is giving a hard time to everybody. I, uh, so we, I'm not like an AdWords expert. It's not where I focus my time. Again, you know, Facebook is my bread and butter. Is Facebook sometimes have ups and downs? For sure. Yeah, it definitely does. But so does, so does everything. I don't think it's as bad as everyone is saying. I think people have been crying about Facebook from the day I got started in drop shipping. People said Facebook was dead in 2016. And if you believe that then, you would have made no money from now to 2019, and really, it's been great. And it's still, it's still good, right? There's still so much opportunity. There's still so many people making so much money off it. You know, you just have to adapt. Maybe change your strategies up. Things are changing. You got to test more. It's not like it's not as easy as it used to be, but it still works. It's still great. How do you utilize email marketing after the sale? So. This is something that is obviously so much easier on like private label or branded stores. You can go out there. We really like to deliver content and educate our consumers. So we have a, a skincare brand and on our skincare brand, a lot of our content that we send out to our customers is kind of just teaching them, you know, so once a week, what we do is we, I have a person on my team who writes articles and we write an article every week. We send the email out Monday and Wednesday. And we send that to our customers and it's just a pure educational email and it has a call to action at the end. We get sales from it, but it's just a pure educational email about, you know, anything to do with helping them have better skin or a better lifestyle or, you know, help them with aging and stuff like that. And it could be anything from using a certain cream or, or ingredient or, you know, eating a certain diet to, to help them. So we'll deliver content like that. Keep your customers happy and building a community. Um, and then obviously stuff like, uh, seals. So this weekend's Memorial Day, so you could have a Memorial Day seal. 
any excuse for a sale is a good idea, right? So you can have specific product sales or like going out of stock sales. So much different ways you can do that. And then you should have a lot of automations in place. So I think on that story of about nine automations in place and that's anything from like a win back sequence, right? So when someone buys and then they don't buy anything for another 60 days, we have a, a three day period where we're sending an email a day trying to win them back, giving them a discount, explaining, you know, more or have they, you know, we should have at 30 days out, maybe we have a review sequence, right? So they're coming and trying to get reviews from them. So there's a lot of different sequences in place there that are automated and you should obviously, they're automated, but you should obviously still be split testing them to try and improve things. But that can bring in a lot of extra money, um, especially on stores where it takes more education to educate the consumer. Then you've obviously got your stuff like just sending out broadcasts, uh, abandoned cart sequences, which you should all have in place um, and stuff like that. So hopefully that helps a ton. Uh, how big is your e-com team? So it's still fairly small. We have, we have eight people on our team. Um, so nothing crazy. I definitely, I definitely wish over the past two to three years I had it grown bigger. Um, I've probably slacked off a lot more than I, I should have. Uh, and I could have grew a better, bigger team and I've learned a lot of lessons from, from not doing it. And I know people have grew a lot faster and bigger than me who are doing, you know, eight figures a year. I'm not doing eight figures a year, right? But I know a lot of people who are and they've got bigger teams than me. But again, it's it's a different lifestyle. Right now in my life is fairly easy. I don't really have, have to like be at work. I don't have much stress on, you know, paying 100K uh, payroll every month. I don't have that stress. My life's fairly easy and that's kind of, it was fine for the last few years. Now I kind of want to go um, really, really hard and, and build something huge. But over the past two years, it's been it's been easy. I never scaled to the point where I was extremely stressed out and like had to make payroll and I had 50 people to, to look after and make sure they're fucking eating every week, right? Um, so that it, it's two different things. You, you can have a kind of the lifestyle side of it and you can have uh, kind of the empire build inside of it. But for me over the last few years, it's kind of been honestly chilling, chilling too much. Uh, there is, I kind of go on stages where I'm grinding really hard and then slow down, but you know, there's so much, so many options there. Uh, how many products do you test to ultimately find your winner, which is profitable? So we're always consistently testing, no matter how many, winner, how, how many winners we have, always testing new products. Um, and it could be anything like you could test three products and find a winner. I would say if you're using the strategies that we're using right here, um, you're going to find products that are making you sales. They might not be huge, huge winning products that do millions, but there will be products that do very, very well um, or make you a slight bit of profit or they're breaking even, so you're not really losing too much money. Um, so with products like that, you can go ahead and test them and, and test a lot of products and not really lose any money on them. So I would recommend doing that. How much money did you spend when you started drop shipping? So I, back when I started drop shipping, I had about three grand in my bank account. I bought a course for two and a half grand and I had about $500 to make it work. Obviously I had a job as well. So I had $1,200 or something coming in every month. Um, and I was just kind of investing everything into my business until it worked. Like my first month, I didn't make a sale. Um, Okay, so let's jump back in. I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna do some ad spy research, see if we can find another product. Um, let me just open a window in here, it's like super, super warm. Um, okay, awesome. So if you guys are enjoying this and you wanna see more of these live streams, I'm thinking about doing one like kind of on a weekly basis. If you guys are enjoying it, you're getting a ton of value, go ahead, please do drop a like on this video. It's greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and get it. Um, let's get it up to 50 likes, right? We got about 60 people on here right now. Go ahead, let's get it a like spike. Let's hit 50 likes right now. And um, we'll go ahead and we'll jump in. I'll show you guys another strategy we use to easily find um, winning products. So go ahead, do that, and we'll get started again in a second. And let me know in the chat, like, do you like this sort of thing better than, you know, just watching my videos? Um, I'd like to see. I watched your Aria video, it was straight away dope. 
Awesome, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You know, for me, honestly, for me, like the Aria video, like a lot of people were like, oh, you're showing off all this shit. More than anything, it was, it was just for me to go ahead and enjoy it, you know? Like, I want to, like, look back in 20 years and be like, that was the, a car I bought when I was 22, and that's pretty cool. The video is for me more than anyone else. Um, and I made a video about my other Aria when I bought it, like, a year ago. But I love the car, man. It's super, super fun. Uh, awesome, right? So let's jump in uh, and get started. Let's go ahead, guys. If you're not haven't dropped a like in the video yet, please do go ahead and do it. It helps the channel a ton. Um, and we'll, we'll hop in here to Ad Spy and I'll show you guys what I do. So if you guys um, you know, want to go ahead and look, you know, get Ad Spy, I think below this in the description there is a link to it and. You know, in that link, you can go ahead, click it. You'll get fifty dollars off, and you can get like I think it's a thousand free free searches, and you don't have to enter your credit card or anything like that. Uh, so really good app to use, and I'll show you guys kind of how it works here in a second. Uh, live Q and live Q and As are awesome. Uh, the lives are dope, awesome. Actually, I like both. Uh, I like both. It's nice to be able to look back at videos you uploaded for reference. I like seeing it demonstrated live as well. Okay, cool. Let's jump in and do, do this. And um, we'll stay on here for probably another 20 minutes or so. Um, and we'll get it up. So what we're going to do is first thing on here that I like to do is come into technologies. Uh, I want to look at Shopify. Which essentially means it's going to show us ads from Shopify stores. And then the next thing I want to do is scene between, right? So I want to go from scene between. And we'll probably just do like the last month or so uh, and then create it between the last month as well because if you just do scene between what happens is you start to see these posts from like years and years ago um so that's that and then the next one i believe that's kind of everything that we put in there uh and then next one we want to do so we can see recent ones but we want to kind of search by there's a couple of different ones we could do we could do it by shares we could do it by uh, like woes obviously like if you search by sads it's probably going to be a product that was scaled really hard but terrible quality so if we actually take a look at that just to see um what it looks like uh okay so it's like it's more stuff about animals and stuff so let's go ahead and do let's go for longest running i've never searched by this but i would assume by longest running over that period it means they're still running the ads uh, and they're doing well let's see what pops up um so this is a really cool brand uh, i know this product absolutely kills it i know the person who ran their their advertising for a, a while i don't know if they still do um but they ran this advertising and they did huge huge numbers with this top coat product uh essentially what it does is let's take a look it helps to protect your boat or your car or whatever you're putting it on So you can see here, they're actually selling through a VSL, right? So this is should be giving you guys ideas, right? You don't always have to just send a pro, send traffic directly to a sales page uh, or directly to a product page. If you have a winning product, putting more effort into it and putting together like a sales video like this, right? I'm pretty sure this is just. Uh, Let's take a look when it loads here. It's hard to clean the surface. But it's a lot of like graphics, it's a lot of slides in there rather than actually like a sales video of someone talking. And if you're not comfortable with that, this could be a good way to go out there and do it. And then they've got you know kind of the similar thing here. Uh, they got the three kits, two kits, one kit. They're also using Zipify pages. Uh, and then they've got reviews, social proof there. So Again, this product probably costs to manufacture. I would say it's very, very cheap. I'd say for like one bottle of this, probably costs less than five dollars. Um, and it's you know extremely profitable and very scalable, right? It's a product that solves a problem. Uh, I'm pretty sure these guys actually went ahead and, and landed a huge contract with uh, some airline company or, or whatnot to help protect planes and it makes it more efficient so they save fuel as well. Um, and they, they got to land a huge, huge deal with them. So let's go ahead and we'll filter by likes here and take a look at some of the products. So again, you guys may have seen in my last video, we actually created some designs similar to this and we're starting a store in this niche. 
Uh, this design absolutely crushed it. I'm not sure how much money they made from it. Um, but it looks like it's still running because today is May 24th. Last scene, so it's probably still running right now uh, and doing well. But let's scroll down here. Kylie Cosmetics, obviously crushing it as always. So this is a product I've been seeing a lot, lot of over the last couple of days. Obviously right here, uh, 91,000 likes. They've got 14,000 comments. And especially with, you know, going out there and having like Yeezys, you could go and target Yeezys or Adidas shoes. If you've got expensive shoes, you don't want them to get screwed up, right? So again, take a look here. We will, this was created on May 11th, right? So less than two weeks ago, they've already got 91,000 likes. Let's take a look at what they're doing over here on Bitly to see their traffic. I'm pretty sure they exploded and then kind of fell off a little bit, but 34,000 clicks on this. So again, that's about $35,000 in the past week or so right so at this point they're probably doing like 10k a day and if we actually take a look just at the product page they're still running it right at lower volumes but you could definitely come in there and test with different creatives come at it from a different angle target different um you know different niches within that so you could target obviously like people going to concerts uh would obviously be a good one uh, i'm not sure how they do it maybe like if you're out I don't know in this country i would like that that's why i don't like buy nice shoes and shit because it's always raining outside and they just get fucked up so you can see here if you could come at it from a different angle get creative with your videos uh and definitely do this this is pretty expensive right like 15 pound that's like what 20 dollars and if we take a look at it on aliexpress over here uh let's see what they've got so on aliexpress waterproof shoe cover let's see some of these are they're ugly i wouldn't wear them um let me see if we could filter by orders here yeah so something like this where it's like two dollars for the actual product the shipping is quite expensive i'm not sure why the shipping would be so expensive on these uh let's take a look but it's like two dollars for the product obviously i would probably like some clear ones these ones are kind of weird but again two dollar product selling it for twenty dollars you got a lot of room there to to scale with a huge huge market huge huge potential easy to target by targeting just expensive shoe brands and and yeah it's definitely something you could go and and test out so there's another product opportunity to look at again these guys crushed it right they scaled super super high with this I got a lot of likes, the clicks, and again, I would say they probably made about 30 to 40,000. Uh, uh, so let's scroll on. What am I drinking? Energy drink or a beer? Neither. It's just a, a Coke Zero. I've been waning myself off um, energy drinks. They're like so, so bad for, for focus. It's it's not good at all. Again, this product has been around for a long, long time. The military grid sneakers. I know who started them and they absolutely uh, crush with it. Let's see. So this product, um, we actually sold it for a while there. It's, I, would, I wouldn't recommend it. It's very hard to sell in terms of Facebook compliance. Uh, but it absolutely crushed for, for these guys. I know guys did about 600,000 in four or five days on this product. It solves a huge problem and it does it in a stylish way. So that's why it works really well. But it was, we had huge, huge issues with getting it through compliance. And then I don't believe the product quality is good. The person who sold like 600,000 worth of it, they're getting so many complaints that on our ads that we had launched like two days ago, people were saying, oh, I ordered this three weeks ago and it hasn't arrived yet and we're like well it's, it's not us who, who shipped that out um so that's something to to be wary of and just be wary of that product for that uh if we take a look on down here these are cool these have done well for years especially this weekend obviously be a memorial day weekend i believe let me know in the chat if it is it's i think it's memorial day weekend but something like that would do well you know at that time these guys redline steel these guys crush on e-commerce every time i'm on an ad spy tool they're always up there on the top with you know ads that are just killing it again another one of these waterproof shoes i'm not sure if it's the same people running that but again absolutely crushing 
Uh, I looked at these. I'm pretty sure these guys, they, they scaled really, really hard. If we take a look. They scaled really hard, but I'm pretty sure they're not like shipping the right product or something because 45,000 clicks in one day, essentially. So over three days, 45,000 clicks. So on a $200 product, that's, that's pretty big. But then they stopped running it. So I'm assuming that they were doing something dodgy because the actual product costs about $900 and they're selling it for 200. So again, you gotta be wary of stuff like this. Just be vigilant when you're taking a look at these products. Um, Cause again, 199, if you look at it on AliExpress and stuff like that, it's a little bit more expensive. Um, so be wary of products like that. Let's take another scroll down here and see if we can find, we'll look for one more, one more good opportunity. And then I'm probably gonna head off for the day. So again, stuff like this, coming into, uh, so these guys are actually using this. This is smart, right? So obviously that, you know, the the Bunyan, uh, the Bunyan sandal, I'm assuming that these people seen that product, the Bunyan sandal, they said that did really well. I'm gonna find a sandal that has arch support and then scale that. So they've come at it from a different problem. I think the video is, is, isn't even good. If we take a look here, let me, Turn the volume down. So again, stylish product that solves a problem. And if we look at this, I'm pretty sure they absolutely crushed it. And with these products, it seems that you can scale them really, really high in a couple of days and then they drop off. So you can see here again, 49,000 clicks over a small period of time. So they're done roughly, I would say, you know, from the numbers that I was seeing on mine, that's probably in around 50 to 60, 70,000 uh, over this two week period. So again, you could come at this, that I would say that video is not all that great and it could be improved on a lot. So you could check that out. Canvases, I've sold over a million in canvases through um, different niches. I've never done it with cars, but these guys seem to be doing well. I keep seeing these ads popping up with different cars. Obviously another product that's very easy to target because you can literally just go target um, that car brand and check it out, but pretty cool. So you can see here, same people, 31,000 likes on this. Uh, down here, I'm pretty sure that's the Fast and Furious. Um, is it a Fast and Furious scene? I, I think it might be. Uh, it's obviously targeting that movie, can sell these. Let's see what, I don't know why they're doing it like link in our bio. Um, that's pretty, weird way to sell. It's solely on Instagram. So maybe this is just an organic post rather than an ad, which is kind of curious to see that. But I think I'm going to leave it here, guys, for today's um, video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this a ton. If you did, please do go ahead and drop a like on the video. It helps so, so much uh, to get us out there to spread the message more. Um, and again, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Let me know if you do want to see more of them, hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new here. We do roughly three videos a week, generally Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We missed yesterday's, unfortunately, but we did a little live stream uh, today this afternoon. But I think this was a good video, a good valuable video if it was. Again, let me know in the chat so I can do more of these, schedule more in, um, and maybe we'll put you know more in there in terms of slotting it in as like a weekly thing where we go ahead and we find you guys some products. Hopefully you got a lot of ideas here. Uh, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and test a couple of those products that we've seen today. Uh, and get my team to to start creating some stuff for that. And if you guys do want to join my training, we do this on like a weekly basis. We do live Q and A's, answer your questions more in depth in terms of what you're like stuck with. But you guys can go link down below, join Ecom Domination in there. We've got over 700 students. Um, I think we've probably had over a thousand students in the last three years, but you always get updates. We've had the same course for the last three years and it's top quality. You know, I'd honestly say some of the best content out there. And we always update it. The people who joined three years ago still get our updates. We don't nickel and dime you. We don't try and sell you a course every damn month. Uh, it's one course. You get all the updates for free once you're in. Uh, you can check that out as well. So there's also a free training in the link below. If you're brand new to e-commerce, it's probably the best place to, to get started. But again, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys on the next stream.